Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Um, I was asked to do a video of basically giving my take on FLO robots and attachments as far as going big or going simple. So I just wanted to show you two different examples and then give you my two cents on what I feel. And you know, like any team, you guys would go the direction that you feel is best for your team and the skills of your team. So let's go take a look at what we're looking at here. So this is a box robot. And what I really like about it, I've always liked about it, is to limit the amount of time and base you're wasting. They just have just removable and put on attachments. So you're not wasting a ton of time and base, you're just taking it off and when you have a different uh, mission, you just slide it back on again. And so this team has, my gosh, one, two, three, three different of these cages that they'll put on for different missions. And over here, we would have this team here where they have just um, a regular smaller robot and then that's all of their attachments. So there's very little that this team will, I mean, they, they are taking on and off their attachments. Um, I've been watching them in practice and they, they do have to still master getting these on and off, um, you know, a, in a timely manner. But here is my take so far on these teams um, as they're practicing right now. This team here with the box robot with all of these cage, um, you know, removable attachments are finding out that they're, they're having issues with controlling and programming the robot because each, you know, each one requires a different task. Um, each one requires different movements within um, each attachment. So on this one here, this arm would come down. On some of these others, it just has an attachment to do this, the different tasks that they want. Um, somebody asked, is is keeping it simple better. This team actually is spending a lot less time programming. They're having a little, I feel, uh, a little bit easier time programming because of all of the intricacies involved in programming and making sure everything works on this box robot here. So if you're asking for my take on this right now, it seems like keeping it simple would be a little better. They're enjoying um, the process a little better. Um, you know, they do have to figure in other things like these motocross wheels are providing separate problems than what the regular EV3 wheels are having. As far as if you saw a few videos that I have done before about burnout where the wheels are just spinning at a high rate of speed, that's affecting some of their um, accuracy. So they're having to start it off a little slower um, just so that they don't get that burst of speed that throws the robot um, completely off. And then this team here is just having issues of making sure everything is working right. So in, in, in a sense, this team has more that could go wrong because they have so many more things involved. Um, but you know, you take, you take everything that's possible that could go right and everything that goes wrong. And at the end of the day, you kind of just weigh out your, you know, your pros and cons and you, and you go with one that makes your team comfortable. So it just, it depends by team. Some teams want to be able to do multiple things at once. So obviously this robot here can do more things in a given amount of time. So if you give this team a minute, they might be able to do the same missions that this robot can do, but this, you know, my robot might do it faster because everything is happening all at once. This team might have to come back to base to do some of that, those same things that this robot does. So I know you're probably sitting there going, well, you know, you really didn't answer the question um, because it's, it's a tough question to answer for each specific team. For right now, keeping it simple is good for this team. But you know, let me give you some background. This team is relatively brand new so keeping it simple might be better for them. This is my kind of my veteran team. So they're already thinking, you know, past just the simple robot like this one where they might get a little bit more complicated. 
So it would depend definitely on the skill set of your team. What do you go with? Are they able to actually build um, these attachments and use them correctly in a competition? This team seems to be getting there. So I guess the proof will be this Saturday when we go to the competition, which one, which team will do better as far as point wise and uh, the ease of getting things done. But in, you know, in the end, it would be about how accurate and how effective are their missions. So I guess we will find out on Saturday uh, which one does better and, you know, we'll take it from there. So hopefully that gave you some type of insight on do we go big, large, you know, a lot of things happening at once or keeping it simple. Uh, in the end, I would say keep it simple for your uh, newer teams. Um, definitely a booklet robot. I've done videos in the past where we can get missions done, but they're not necessarily getting a lot of missions done. And then for your veteran teams that feel like, you know, they can carry more of the load, uh, have them go big. Try to stretch their um, creativity and go big here. All right, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out.